Many of the common mathematical symbols can be accessed via the keypad. To enter inequalities, we press Control and the Equals button. This brings up a list of all the inequalities, as well as the not equal sign and the given sign. To access more symbols, we can press the Pi button on the bottom left of our TI Inspire. In here, we have the familiar symbols such as Pi, Infinity, Theta, and the degree symbol. To enter in trigonometric expressions on the TI Inspire, we can press the Trig button. This brings up a list of all the trigonometric expressions, as well as the inverse trigonometric expressions. To change the angle setting, we can press the home button, navigate to settings, and select document settings. We can press tab to navigate to the angle setting, and select radian to change between degrees and radians. Once we're happy with our changes, we can press the enter button and navigate back to our current document. Suppose we want to calculate the value of sine 45 degrees. To do this, we can press the trig button to select the sine template, then type in 45, and then enter in the degree symbol, which we access from the pi button on the handheld, and press enter. Even though the TI Inspire is in the radian angle setting, if we insert a degree symbol, the TI Inspire will calculate the input in degrees. So far in this course, we have seen many commands which can be accessed via the menu button on the handheld. To see all of the commands that the TI Inspire has, including some which aren't in the menu, we can press the button which looks like a book. This is the catalog button. It is a catalog of all the commands. There is also a description of how to use each command at the bottom of the screen. Rather than scrolling all the way down, we can press the S button on our keypad, which will take us to the S section of the catalog. And then we can then select the solve command. Some other useful math templates can be accessed via the template button, which is located next to the catalog button underneath the delete button. We can use this to efficiently enter in absolute values, which is highlighted in blue there. For example, we can enter in the absolute value of negative three. We can also efficiently enter in matrices via the template button. And we have a few options there. So highlighted there, the three by three looking matrix allows us to select a matrix of any order that we like to enter in. Below the enter button is a punctuation key, which is where we can access our familiar punctuation symbols, such as question mark, exclamation mark, and again, the degree symbol. 